So we need to go to Charms. Where would Charms be? This way, probably. Oh, well, what a first day. Okay. Oh, this is rather nice. What? Hello? Do you understand it? Um, okay. So, up here. Help but feel there might have been something behind there. Oh, girl's bathroom. Ah, stylish vest, school uniform. Huh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. What? Oh. Hmm. I think we'll we'll just head to Charms. Rebellion. Ah, it's more. What's that? Oh. Hello. Okay. Some kind of, some kind of bizarre. I'm not even going to ask. Okay. Bavelio. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. What, what are these? Some of us Paper... don't necessarily want him to get back to Paper the lesson. Birds. Hmm. Well. There's an open seat here. Oh, thank okay. you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh, dear. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Oop. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Accio. Accio. Oh, Accio. Okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. 
I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Yes, after you. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? 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 Okay. <laughs> um. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Okay. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Okay. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. I... I will try. That's it! Oh, look at that. Marvellous. Very good! Oh, just a little bit more and it would have been over. Splendid! Jolly good. Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! Woo. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! Oh, same again. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yep. Let us do this. Okay. Thirty to me as well. Excellent control there. Here we go. Hmm. All right. Neck and neck. Hmm. That is how it's done. Get the feeling she's done that on purpose. Okay. Oh, I think Very we just good. got into the fifty. Yes, we did. We won. Yay! Brilliant. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> I ah, think we are well past interesting at I this see. point. <laughs> I'll say. Mm. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Certainly this will. This round settles it all. What? Very good. There we go. Okay. Splendid. Aha. Right. 
Well... Oh no, it fell off the end. the best of us. Hmm. It's a shame. How it's done. Never mind. Never mind. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. That was good. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. <laughs> took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Good. Um, I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. Mm -hmm. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Oh. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Um, is magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh. That's pretty incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Very true. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Okay, um, what does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Wow. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Hmm. And how big is it? Sounds sounds like it's enormous, yeah. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Wow. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. That's nice. Well, thank you for telling me about it. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Mm-hmm. Well, what a nice girl. Of course, you can Rebellion. use that. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. Oh. You know it won't work on humans. Quite a troubling a conversation. Word, if you would. Can I spin this? No. Oh, okay, uh, hello, sir. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. No. What charm is there in the expected? <laughs> Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of True. course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Well, okay. Charms class. Who 
are you? Are you alright? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads out. of wisdom, but a bit mad. Okay. Alright. Let's head over to Defense Against the Dark Hello. Arts. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Oh, Samantha, hello. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh, well, thank you. Um, that's kind of you to say. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Oh. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. Revelio. So we need to go downstairs. What's up here? What's... Could we... While I remember, don't forget to Do give you suppose? me that... Do you suppose? We can! Hey! Oh my goodness, hello! A cat! Oh, what a lovely cat. Oh my god, there's another one. I, I really have to get to Defense Against the Dark Arts, but wow. Cats. I like that. Yes, hello. Revelio. Another fabulous room. Oh, what's going on over here? And he says it's a flat. Heaves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. Oh dear. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but what you're all this? in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> so the question mark. Hmm. I'm not going to interfere with that anymore. Oh. Another globe to spin. Okay, let's head down to... Can we spin this one? You can get all sorts of clothes and gladness. Can we... Is that something we can spin? No. Oh. Paper birds. Hmm. Let's head down to Defense Against the Dark Arts. Who knows, maybe we'll find an answer there. What's this? Aha! Field guide page. Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can for forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Wow. Well, hmm. Very nice. Revenia. What's this? Oh, we can have some tea. Marvellous. A cup of tea is always welcome. What's this? Hmm. Well, excuse me. Have to get to class, you know. Fence against the dark arts. Oh! I see. Sebastian Salo. Okay. Professor Hecket. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Uh. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Wow. To Impressive. the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Mm. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, 
Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, well, here we go. Marvelous. Levioso. And hold the feather aloft. Wonderful. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh. All right. All right, here I am. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, mm -hmm. as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Very true. Levioso! Well done. Great. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time okay. for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and okay. Protego. You may begin. All right. Okay, one's ready. This must be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Mm hmm. Oh no. How perceptive. Thank you. Okay. okay. And he's off. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Uh-huh. Hm. Sebastian, eh? Hm. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Well, thank you. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, yeah. Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Mm. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Well, thank you. All right. That's enough oh. spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. There's something up here. Can I take that? No? Hmm. Aha, uh, there we go. Okay. Hebridean Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defence Against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. I prefer nice. to keep things friendly. Okay, hello. You drooled Sebastian. I did. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. Uh, hello. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. No. If you know the right spells, oh, it's Everett. dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Well, of course. Revelio. Anything else in here? Hmm. S Hello? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yes. Wouldn't fancy that. Okay, nice Sebastian. Work. Yes. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. 
didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Ugh. Then again, Flatter. perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um. Yeah, we've got to keep this quiet. So it was. I've never used more. In, in fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds interesting, yeah. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Hmm. Until next time. Yes, until next time, um, my dear. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So what else is in here? Anything? Oh, another, another uh, globe to spin. Oh, and another. I'm just going around spinning all the globes. Wow. That's that's quite impressive. The dragon. Is it a dragon? Hmm, possibly. Possibly not. Okay, maybe we should continue onwards. Bavelia. Hmm. Are you alright? Sat on the floor. Interesting. Oh. Stretching your legs. Guess, guess so. Hmm. That looks oddly. Ah, yes, here we go. Field guide page, hello. Painting of Ilias. Ilias? This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Raxidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Wow! Oh, there's a chest here, but we can't get in. That young'un's now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Fanged geranium? There's, what, what's, a, what's a fanged geranium? Curiosity. Well, the other little. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh! All right. Any info about it? Oh, can we go in here? What are these mirrors? Hmm. If you oh. could just tread carefully, that's all I ask. What's... What are all these stinky clouds? Oh my. Ravenia. Wait, there's a page! I thought there was something! If you put a foot wrong, it's just, well... There's a rather foul odour. Oh dear. Is it here? Oh no, there you go. Pungent passage. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of Mimbulus Mimbletonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odour that even the strongest cowering charm cannot seem to eradicate. Hmm. Lovely. Pungent passage. Oof. How vile. Rebellion. Hmm, ooh. A box for us to search in. The Western Tower. 
Hmm, thought there'd be a page. Never mind. What's this? There's so much to see! Hmm. Hello. Sorry about that. Locked. Oh no. My mother sent me a howler. Transfiguration owl. Without a doubt, one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Oh dear. Well, needless to say, you've lived a very short life thus far, I imagine. Given that we are currently at school. So. What else is up here? Revelia. Hmm. Any other pages? Notes? These mirrors, what are the mirrors for? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think we should potentially head. Oh, should I not be running? Is that the problem? Oh, hello! A cat! Wow, what a beautiful cat as well! Hello! Aren't you lovely? My goodness. Hello. Yes, hello! Hmm. I thought that he might have been a bit of person. Hello. What's this? Peeves. Do you? Lumos. Oh, that's Lumos now. Oh. Hey. A page. Hmm. Another page found. Well? Revenia. Can I spin that globe? I don't think I can. No, I cannot. Never mind. Hmm. Ooh, wow. Oh! oh terribly sorry, sir. Oops. Well. I suppose he is a ghost. What is that? Rebellion. Okay, well, this is very odd. But at the same time, somewhat intriguing. Hello, fellow Ravenclaw. Oh, this is the astronomy tower. Okay. What are you up to now? Me? I'm just here. What a magnificent room. Wow. What's this? My dear Satyavati. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, or muggles mind you as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, during my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Such Rita. Okay. What a lovely note. Another one Rebellion. of these cupboards with a the, the lock that we can't quite get into. Hello? It must be, yeah. I won't disturb. Oh. Well. Oh, sorry. Goodness. Didn't mean to um, cause an offence. 
Oops, I think you I... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I'll imagine. Hello. Some, oof, this is a little misty. Oh. Rebellion. Okay. Ah, another one of these mirrors. Get the password wrong is all I can say. Oh dear. Don't know why the common rooms all have secret ways of entering. Who wants to go into someone else's common room anyway? We were sorted for a reason. True. Oh, I can't. Is Ah, another 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 globe for spinning. Those mirrors are confusing me. Oh god. Peeves. <laughs> you should be more careful. What is wrong with this ghost? Oh. Oh dear. Well. What's up here? Oh, oh, hello. An owl. We give the owl something? No. Fell well. Rebellion. You all right? You don't look very happy. And what's not to be happy about up here? Wow. Is this some kind of clock? Ah, there's a chest down there. A little chest, maybe. Hello? No? Okay. Well, I shall continue looking myself. Teal clockwork scarf. Another globe. Another globe. Hmm. Maybe she's outside. Oh! Wow. This is a very nice courtyard. Page. I see a page. Pavilion. The Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Yes. Don't believe we've met that gentleman yet. Rebellion. Hopefully, um, hopefully we will at some point. Hmm. So I wonder what Professor Weasley wants. Hmm. Well. All right. Oh. What about the room, Professor? How I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Oh. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. Mm. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um, uh, no. Not at all. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. No bother. Um, Professor Ronan did mention that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Oh. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, uh, yes. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And mm. Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Wonderful. Um, hmm. What more can you tell me about the potion shop? 
Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Oh. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Oh. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. So there really is an Ollivanders here? There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Then I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. Hmm. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. I oddly like Sebastian, and I don't know what it is. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Oh. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, oh. if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. Not no problem. time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Hmm. Indeed. Is there Rebellion. anything that I can have a look at here? <sighs> oh, sheepskin winter's hat. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are a type of quest given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when complete, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, a Repero, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Marvellous. Well. Revelio. Hmm. Hello, Professor. Don't mind me. I am uh, simply, simply finding everything you told me to. Partial transfiguration. This partially transfigured teacup, likely the soon-to-be reversed error of a second year, serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. Indeed. My, my, my. Well, can we spin this globe? No. <gasps> Oops. Sorry, Professor. Revenia. Hmm. Well. Guess we'd better go and... Oh, a cat. Hello, cat. I have to pet all the cats. How lovely. Wow. Could we have a cat? I would quite like a cat. Hmm, indeed. Interesting. Well? Professor, hello. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. Definitely. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Then... Hmm. What is the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. 
And these tasks should provide you with just that. Okay. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Then I'll do it. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Well. Alright. Let's go and collect these pages. Ah, this there you are. This is the right area. I uh, wonder where the flying page is. What? Leviosa. Oh. I'm using the wrong spell. Aha! Another field guide page. Marvellous. We... Alright, so we need to head to defence against the dark arts. We could use the flu. The flying network. page must be around here somewhere. Ah, there you are. Brilliant! Haha! -ha! We have it! Let's return to Professor Ronan. Tell him the good news. We have all the pages, sir. Hello! I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvellous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Yes. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Mm hmm Repero. Mending charm. Repero can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. Okay. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Oh. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Oh dear. Well, let's let's go and do that then. Oh, the cat. Hello, cat. Very pretty. Yes, hello. Ah, here we are. Well. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Professor. Very good. Oh, how peaceful. Fish in the water, maybe? Ducks? Revelio. Hidden things? What's this? Oh! Leviosa. Another page. Hmm. Well, I suppose we'd better go and meet Sebastian and, um... Get to go to Hogsmeade. Get ourselves a proper wand. Well, uh, our own wand, I should say, our own wand. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Terribly sorry. Rebellion. Aha! Another field page. Goblin Artifact Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hogshead Inn with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Potentially a good idea. I fear. Okay. Well, fancy meeting you here. Well, hello, Sebastian. Just, what in the, what? Rebellion. Flattened armour. This set of armour belonged to Sir Scagglethorpe the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Yes, probably not a good idea, I fear. What's this? 
Is this something else? Aha! A broken broom. This broom... This broken broom belonged to Celine Wharton... Wartnaby. Wartnaby? And is rumoured to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. So don't mess about with um, with with charms that you don't know I've anything about. Said that travel the mind. It truly does. Is there anything here that we can? Avelio. Oh, hello, um, sir. All right, um, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. You are? Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Well, I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. Me too. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> well, okay. Revenia. Let's, um... Let's head to Hogsmeade, then. The most I've 